people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now the first part of the video is called It Happened Again, It Happened Once Again. And the popo, they are probing the takeaway of a 15-year-old girl. Now based on information, it is said that she was juked juk up by some sort of kitchen utensil. And this incident occurred in a place called Bud Hole District, McNeil era of Clarendon, next to a place called Kellitz, Kellitz Town in the parish. Based on information, it is said that she was barefooted, so obviously she must have been trying to escape from her attacker, which is said to be her man, which is said to be her boyfriend. Now people, that's our picture right there on the screen. When you think about stuff like this, we have to ask the question, who is it? Is it a boyfriend, meaning a next teenager in our age group, or is it an elderly man? Either way, people, it doesn't make any difference because it's short and the fact that based on the pictures and the videos that I have, people, it is very brutal. It looked like Jigsaw, it looked like Chucky, it looked like Texas Chainsaw Massacre kind of passed through because, people, the body, it was well juk juk up. Now, when you think about the age 15, why would a 15-year-old be going through this? She has not lived any sorts of life as yet. She has basically just born. She brand new to the earth. She should not be going through any sorts of emotional, cuss, cuss, fight, rate, lay, lay, blow, blah, blah. However, people, we see that the standard in Jamaica, it is very low. We see that these little picnic nowadays then go through all sorts of A, B, U, S, E and people in this case it was taken to the worst case scenario she was taken out by somebody who was said to be her boyfriend or man people I don't know the name or the age of the person that took her out however it is not justified it just shows you that sometimes these youths they find themselves in all sorts of situations all sorts of circumstances and them end up where they have to leave their house and live with these men that are A, B, U, S, I, V, E. And as a 15 year old people, like I said, I don't know the underlying story. So I am just speculating. As a 15 year old, what are you doing in any sort of relationship? You're supposed to be talking about children stuff. You're not supposed to be going through what these weird, we are speaking about demented, dysfunctional people in a Jamaica are going through. However, people, we say that this happens on a daily basis point blank and period so anyways people the moral of the story is that we see that tragedy strikes in jamaica once again and it is amongst the most vulnerable in our society we are talking about picnic we are talking about one little girl and people as soon as i get any more information i'll be sure to divulge asap so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now the next thing that is popping in the news is an incident that occurred, it seems like, downtown in a some sort of garrison. I am assuming. And it pertains to a man and his name is Shovel and people, apparently. Shovel was in some sort of verbal altercation, some sort of dispute with some sort of lady. And apparently it came back to haunt him because people, they found Shovel, we are speaking about OUT, tapped out a couple of hours later. So people, I am going to let you take a listen, take a look to the video when he was arguing with this lady. Or this lady was basically giving him a piece of her mind. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. So you've come living on my face. Oh, yeah. So if you live on my face, Shovel, I mean I'll take you home. And I'll swap out the bleaching cream with me yet you know a class support the color with me yet safe for living in my class for yes a shovel eh? now people this is my disclaimer i am not saying that the lady that is arguing with him had anything to do with that he passed away however it is a possibility so people that was the argument that was the altercation However, people, take a listen, take a look, and you understand that this is YouTube, so therefore I cannot show you this part of the video. However, my people in my WhatsApp group, they will get it. And if you want this video also, 1-876-894-2711, give your name, you want the video with shovel. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. Now, 
Now people like I said, whenever you live in the garrison and you have any sort of problem with people, it can end up in the worst extent and it can escalate real fast and it can get from slow to very fast and people in this case we see a shovel had some sort of argument and after that they have to shovel up shovel so people the moral of the story is this whenever you live in the garrison anything can pop off it is like a volcano it is a diamond volcano however in the split of a second it can erupt we are talking about magma we are talking about lava we are talking about the place get hot point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now people this is called an update this is called a correction to a video that i did yesterday and it pertains to reggae artist and his name is Nesbeth and it more specifically pertains to his road manager and that person's name is Roland Drummy Drummond. Now this is based on information from his publicist and that person's name is Raymond Small. Now yesterday when I did this video this was based on information that I got. I got information that his road manager was shot in the face and he did not make it and i also got a video from several persons including persons from law enforcement so people this was based on information that i got however people i am glad to say that i was wrong because it's truth and the fact is that the road manager mr drummond he is in stable condition he is doing okay however he is going to require reconstructive surgery because like i said him get caught up in the face and in the lower part of the face. In the video that I spoke about, this person was caught up in the upper part of the face. However, that person did not make it. Now, based on information, it is said that Mr. Roland Drummy Drummond, he was attacked in a place called in the vicinity of Ascot High School, and that is in Portmore, we are speaking about in St. Catherine. And it is said that he was driving his motor vehicle when he heard some sort of knocking sound in the vehicle, in the engine part, and then when he stopped, he was accosted by a group of men that were traveling in a car next to him, and they accosted him, and there was some sort of um, tussle, and during that tussle, he was caught up in the face, and they also relieved him of his legal fire piece. Now, people, based on that information, and based on what I have heard, and people, this is just speculation again, and that is what blogging is all about. Because based on the information that I got, he was driving some sort of expensive car, some sort of BMW X5, I think. So therefore, if you are driving those type of cars, you would not really expect any sorts of um, mechanical problem. Most of the times, 90% of the times, and people, I am not saying that it cannot happen because anything is possible. Now I say this to say that there has been several incidents in which Persons were driving their car on the highway, different places, Kingston, Montego Bay, Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Bling. And then they heard all sorts of knocking sound. And when they pull over to fix them car, they were also accosted by a group of men in car. So people, this seems as if this trend is continuing and people, I am not saying that that is the case. I am only speaking about a possible scenario. So is this the case once again, one more again, where these people are using this trick where they basically disable your car when you go into whatever establishment that you go into to go shop and then you come back out, they either disable your radiator, that means that the car overheat, or then pull something upon the car and then when you are driving, you are going to hear all sorts of knocking sound. People, I don't know. I am just making people aware of what has been going on in Jamaica. So therefore, if you should experience this problem or this condition or this situation, you know, say, you pull over at a very safe place, close to the power post station or in the power post station, if possible, because we see these criminals, they are out and about and they are pulling off all sorts of stunt. Now, people, like I said, this only shows you social media 
even as a person that is experienced on social media, people will get information sometime. And I don't know if this information is intentional. I don't know if these persons were aware. However, people, it seems as if you have a set of people upon social media, they are idle. And whenever them get any sort of information, them find some sort of information like a video. We hear so this man got caught up in him face. So therefore they find some sort of video with somebody that got caught up in them face. And people, based on the information that I am now getting, that incident occurred in Africa, Jamaica and Africa. We are hundreds or thousands of miles away from each other. But me just assure you all people, still, they don't have any respect for a person. They don't have any respect for life. And more than likely, they just want their 15 minutes of fame. These persons are what you call, we are talking about some stock up on social media. Point blank and period. So people, at the end of the day, this man is in a stable condition. He is in some undisclosed location because obviously, we say because of the situation in which he got caught up, they are kind of scared for his life. So anyways, like I said, the artist Nesbitt, he also commented on social media and he said, Jamaica has basically gone to the dog. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.